All right, we're going to start topic number three. And we'll be doing this in my absence uh, as I'll be traveling this week. Softening. Water softening. And so this is going to be, uh, you can follow along on page uh, 418 out of our textbook. So when we talk about water softening, we're mainly interested in uh, removing hardness from the water. And so if you remember back to the materials that we discussed in chapter 2, uh, we mentioned total hardness. What is total hardness? So total hardness is the sum of the multivalent cations in water. in the water and we're typically interested in manganese excuse me magnesium mg and calcium 2 plus those are the most common ones but you also have strontium iron manganese and there's also uh, uh, sulfate chloride uh, and so on that uh, can uh, that act as some of these uh, mul uh, bleh, act as some of these uh, hardness constituents. So the concerns we have, and especially here in Rapid City, some concerns that we have that it consumes a lot of soap, and so some of the chelators that are in soap consume the magnesium and calcium that you have in the water. And then item number two, you get uh, calcium CaCO3, calcium carbonate deposition. And this can happen in a lot of pipes and home plumbing systems that you have. Uh, as you increase the temperature of uh, water, uh, you're facilitating or increasing the reactions to precipitate calcium carbonate. And that's kind of the sludge you can get in your wa hot water heaters that are uh, typically found or hot water heaters in, in uh, hard water areas. So let's uh, come up with some definitions here. And um, <clears throat> so we have hardness. So hardness is the dissolution of calcium and magnesium carbonate and bicarbonates. And this is uh, equal to is equal to alkalinity or is a function of alkalinity I shouldn't say equal to and alkalinity is defined as the sum of uh, HCO3 minus plus 2CO3 2 minus uh, plus hydroxides minus the hydronium or hydrogen. Carbonate hardness and this will get explained further in some other videos I'm going to have you watch and this is typically abbreviated as CH. Carbonate hardness is equal to the calcium and magnesium compounds in the water and those would be the calcium and magnesium compounds that are typically associated with uh, the, uh, the HCO3 and if we have um, if our hardness in our water is equivalent to alkalinity in the water, then we have that's equal to our carbonate hardness. And so our alkalinity would typically be expressed in this uh, species as most common in our water. And then the excess amount that we would have would be our non-carbonate hardness, NCH. So here we got CH, carbonate hardness, and NCH, non-carbonate hardness. And so when uh, total hardness is 
is less than or equal to alkalinity, well then our total hardness is equal to our carbonate hardness and our non-carbonate hardness is equal to zero. We don't have any total non-carbonate hardness in our water. So some key things that you're going to have to recall that we discussed from chapter two earlier this semester was looking at these equivalent weight calculations. And these are gonna be paramount in the work that we're going to discuss here for water softening. So equivalent weight is equal to the molecular weight, all that divided by uh, the number of electrons transferred in a redox reaction or the number of protons in an acid-base reaction. So number of electrons transferred in a redox reaction. So it's a molecular weight divided by one of these two. And this is typically grams per equivalence, uh, the units at the bottom. And this is equivalent weight EW. And then we have milliequivalents per liter is equal to the milligrams per liter of the species. All that divided by the equivalent weight, which we have right up here. And so if we do an example here of what uh, this uh, calculation would be, and so let's say for CaCO3, calcium carbonate. So remember calcium carbonate, this has a uh, calcium 2 plus and this is CO3 2 minus and so the N the number of uh, electrons transferred or N is equal to 2 gram equivalents per mole so therefore the equivalent weight E W for this species is equal to 100 grams per mole. All right, so that's the molecular weight, all that divided by two grams per equivalent mole, and this is gonna get these uh, units to cancel out, would be equal to 50 grams per gram equivalents in this system. And so let's say that we have, uh, as an example, we have uh, 200 milligrams per liter of CaCO3. And we want to do that, so if we want to get the milliequivalents per liter, well that would be equal to 200 milligrams per liter, all that divided by 50 uh, milligrams per milligram equivalents. So again, that's coming from right up here. And that would give us four milliequivalents per liter. And that is how we solve that. And so hardness is important. Um, and so I, I discussed some of the mechanisms for removing hardness in the uh, lectures that you're going to watch next here. And so for this assignment, or for this, uh, this section of work, uh, there's a couple important things that uh, I would like you to review. And let's hit... Um, so one thing in particular is going to be this FE exam review. This is taken straight out of the FE exam review book or materials that you're provided uh, that you will take here in a year or two. And this is the lime soda ash lime softening equations that are here. And you'll find this uh, in particular, this series of equations uh, to be quite helpful. And you'll see in the next video so how that might be. 
and then second an example problem uh, that I will work through and so this is a groundwater has a calcium magnesium sodium bicarbonate chloride and you're going to learn how to draw a, um, a bar chart that puts the anions and the cations in there and then calculate the total hardness carbonate hardness non carbonate hardness and then determine the concentration or the dose of lime and or soda ash quick lime perhaps um, lime soda ash that would be required based upon the flow rate that you have in this um, in this example problem so the next step is to review those uh, those works and then you have a homework problem that is due here uh, later uh, this week or next you have to look at the exact times and so this one's to draw a carbonate hardness uh, determine carbonate non-carbonate total hardness and I also ask you to uh, provide a supporting bar diagram and calculate does it mill equivalents per liter and milligrams per liter as CaCO3 and then this problem 10.6 has uh, uh, got a lot of things that to solve on here so watch the next videos that are posted on the instructions on D2L uh, in that order and then come back to this homework assignment when you have completed watching the rest of those videos thank you